Here is another tip on using your electronic tuner. If you notice over on this side, there's a calibrate indication up here, abbreviated, and we have the up and down button. In the United States, our tuning standard is for A440. However, that's not the case everywhere. And more to the point, not every ensemble ends up playing at A440, even if that's their intention. It's nice to have a tuner that can accommodate different standards. Suppose, for example, you want to play along with a piano. Here I've got the metronome sitting on a piano that hasn't been tuned for a number of years. If I play a B-flat, you can see that it's pretty flat on the tuner. Now if I'd like to practice to be able to play with this piano, it'd be helpful to have the tuner set to the same standard. Sometimes as you tune a horn up or down, for example, the intervals between notes change this slightly. It's not just a matter of getting your B-flat in tune, but you may need to adjust other notes slightly differently than you normally do. So we can adjust the tuner to match the piano by changing the calibration. I'm going to go down three clicks, so it's 437. And you can see that's a pretty fair match. The piano is not quite in tune with itself. There are three strings under each of these notes, and they aren't all in agreement, so the tuner is fighting to figure out which one to report. Going through those different notes, they're all a little bit flat. Let's see if A436 is a better match. Not too bad on the B flat. So that tuning might be a good compromise for this particular piano tuned to A436. Now I'm here with my euphonium. I'll try my B-flat against this tuning standard and see what happens. Not too good, even though the horn is a little bit cold, I'm still sharp. So I'm going to pull the tuning slide out about a half an inch. kind of around the neighborhood here. Let's go a little further. There we've got a pretty decent match. Normally the upper F, a fifth above this now, is in tune pretty well. A little bit sharp perhaps, but pretty good. Let's see how it is now. That holds up pretty well. The E flat is slightly sharp. It's pretty good on this horn in general, but I'm going to pull the first slide out a little bit more. That's only logical in a way because when the tuning slide is out, that means the horn's a little bit longer and your valve tuning slides may need to be pulled slightly as well. So there, with that simple adjustment to my tuner, I've made myself a practice tool now so I can get used to playing with this piano and get used to what the horn does, how it feels, get my ear used to that tuning standard as well. Some of us have a pitch memory that may stick with us for a while. So if you're used to tuning to a perfect A440 or a B-flat that matches that, your ear likes that. And when it plays lower than that, it takes some getting used to before your ear is comfortable and before your tone starts to sound natural then. Another quick tip, you could of course just walk up the steps again to three, four clicks to get back to 440. Or instead you can push these two buttons together and hold them. And then it jumps back to 440. So if you're several clicks down or up for whatever reason and need to reset the tuner back to 440, that's a quick way to do it. So there's your tip for today. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for listening.